I think for a little country like Rwanda, it is very important to speak foreign languages. So you can go to other countries in yeah. nearby. Yeah. Mm? Um, and you can work in hotelry, in gastronomy, in tourism, if there come people from abroad. So it's not only European languages, it's also Kiswahili, yeah. or it's Chinese. Yeah. There are many Chinese in the world. But I think a European language is, is helpful. It's helpful. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's Artist TV, which is TV, which is education based. We may ask you to introduce to our dear followers first of all. Okay, I'm uh, Peter Ning. I'm from Germany. I'm a trainer and coach, and also I'm a teacher of uh, language. I taught German in France for several years, and I'm uh, I'm also an author. I write for German radio programs. Okay. We found you here at Artist TV at school and we have curiosity to ask you about the program going on based on teaching Germany. Yes, it's a um, very interesting program. It's um, about a project between um, the um, German government of uh, the state Renania Palatina, which is Jumele, uh partner of Rwanda since 40 years already. And um, and a uni um, how do you say um, a um, unification of hotel owners in Germany because in Germany we need employees. Uh, Germany is a very old society, and we need young peoples. And because people and because there is this um, connection between Rwanda and Germany, the idea was to ask young Rwandan people. If they want to come for a several time for a special time to Germany to learn to study and to work there and this is an invitation for those people who work in gastronomy and in hotelry and they can come to Germany to, and they will study also uh, hotel management and then afterwards they will work for three years in German hotels and to prepare them I'm here to teach them German during uh, nine or ten months and then they will pass an exam next year in Kigali and if they pass the exam they can go directly to Germany and begin their formation, their study in Germany. Yourself and even our dear followers, they, uh, they may ask yourself themselves that how is the experience of them, how they are learning, how it's going on? It's um, not that clear because there are very talented students, um, students who began in school learning English and a little bit French, and others for those for who it is difficult. Um, they have some problems to learn that um, that language, and it's because well, I'm I don't um, speak Kenya Wanda, yeah. so we need English. To have a common language to communicate about that um, the German issue. Though I, I see they are very motivated, um, they are, have a lot of good experience in their professions. They are, uh, everybody of them is um, very experienced as a cook or as a manager. Um, but for some, it's um, it's a great effort to to follow, to learn. And of course, they have to, they have to, um, they have to pay for it. Yeah. And they cannot work, or s some they cannot. Some work, they study in the morning and in the afternoon, and in the evening they work. Yeah. So it's a hard life for them. Yeah. Uh, and also, I may ask you, how long have you been a teacher? How long have I been a teacher? Yeah. I began as a teacher maybe 20 years ago. In Germany, I was responsible. I am also. Uh, publicity uh, writer, copywriter, and I, uh, I trained young students in copywriting. This yeah. was my first job about 20 years ago. Yeah. 
as you have a lot of experience based on being a teacher, and so many of our followers are the students around the country, uh, what message will you deliver to them based on how to treat the education career? Um, my, my idea would be to talk about how to learn learning. I think that is very important. Um, and I think um, in Germany we, we know that problem and we, we think about it, we, we try to change learning. Yeah. And uh, for example, how to, how to learn a language. Um, it is not that the teacher says it like that and it's like this. You have to work all the day. That doesn't mean that you don't have free time. But you have to repeat and to repeat and to repeat. For example, in Germ for to learn German, you have to learn vocabulary. So learn it, train it, repeat it. That is important. And it's not that complicated. It's not complicated. But you have to follow it. You have to be present all the time. That's uh, and also, I, am, I may ask for those kids who are still behind those who are studying Germany, and then they have the wish to be there also, and learning that also. Uh, what message for them to make sure that they live there when they will be ready for that? I think for a little country like Rwanda, it is very important to speak foreign languages. So you can go to other countries in yeah. nearby yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and you can work in hotelry in gastronomy in tourism if there come people from abroad so it's not only European language it's also Kiswahili yeah. or it's Chinese yeah. there are many Chinese in the world but I think a European language is is helpful it's helpful and English is an official language in uh, Rwanda and therefore you should, you should learn, you should try, you should apply that language. Okay. Uh, before we end our interview, what do you expect through those students? I expect that they, they are, uh, this is a pilot project, we are the yeah. first doing that. Yeah. And I expect that they pass their exam next year in July in Kigali that they will go to Germany and that they will do a lot of great experiences. Yeah. And they will stay there and they will come back and they will manage German very, very well and they will be helpful for Rwandan tourism. Yeah. Uh, before we end, can you share about your experience in the radio broadcasting or media in general? of my experience. Based on media or radio or television, things like that. Well, I worked, um, I began as a student working in uh, German television. I lived in Berlin, the capital of Germany. Yeah. And there is an own broadcast uh, uh, station and I worked for television. And we uh, did um, reports about what was going on and afterwards I worked in, in um, production of TV series and it was very very interesting and I see it's um, it's a, a camp where there are a lot of changements in that time in the 80s there was no digital um, medias and um, well it's it, it changes all the time and it's very interesting and it helps for example the introduction of of smartphones is for Africa a, a big step forward because yeah. now everybody can participate in uh, communication. Yeah. For example, with WhatsApp. Yeah. And also making films. I can do a film with my with my smartphone, and yeah. this is this is great, and this is a good opportunity for people in Africa. Oh, thank you. And I hope in the future we need to share something or to ask or to gain some knowledge from you. He gave us the opportunity. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, son. So, for you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yeah, yeah. Every quiet service requires experts and caring people. We all need good mood and it requires nice praise. We have solution for you. 
We are Martin's Expert Home. Your happiness is our first priority. We offer best services as following. The best restaurant with every kind of food and beverage. The unique bar where you can take your drinks safely. In Martin's Expert Home is the only place you can find the best meat purpose hall where your weddings, meetings, or any other kind of ceremony can take place. Accommodation bedroom where you can take rest even if you can be with your family. Good environment and the nice temperature makes everyone feel comfortable at our place, which makes you relax well. We are located in Rwanda, Western Province, Rubavu District, Nyundo Sector, near Fundati Company, at Rubavu Kigari Main Road, 8 km from Giseng Town. For more information, please visit our website wwwmartins home-rwanda.com and also make your reservation through our contact number plus 250 7896786633 martin's expert home quality is created by experts and it has its value you are most welcome